Hi friends, welcome back to Table Full of Joy. I'm Cheryl, I'm so glad you stopped by my channel today. If you're new, I'm so glad you found me. If you've been following for a while, welcome back. So we are going to use up this last lone apple from the farmer's market that we went to a couple weeks ago. It's not looking so pretty, we need to do something with it. I found an amazing recipe for an apple oatmeal cookie. So we're gonna get in the kitchen and make these. Come on. So to make these cookies, we're gonna start off with our butter and our sugar and our eggs. We have a half a stick of butter. Recipe calls for unsalted. I never buy unsalted butter. I always bake with salted butter and I don't have any problems. So I don't even usually worry about it. <laughs> so we have a half a cup of brown sugar and a quarter of a cup of white sugar. And we've got one egg. So we're gonna get these going in our Mixer. All right, so I forgot to buy vanilla. So we are just gonna use a vanilla bean. I actually like vanilla bean. Um, the flavor I think is much better. So I'm not, sorry about it. <laughs> it's gonna be great. This is gonna give us some fantastic vanilla flavor. So we're gonna kind of lay this open with our knife so that we can get in here and we're gonna take the back of our knife and we're gonna go right down the inside of our vanilla bean so we can get all of that beautiful vanilla caviar off of here. Make sure we're not getting any of our pod. We just want this delicious caviar that's in there. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that in now with our butter and our sugars and our one egg. All right, so we're gonna put in the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna put in one teaspoon of cinnamon. I have a half teaspoon measure. So there'll be two of those. We're gonna do a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm gonna do a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I love the smell of nutmeg. I prefer fresh ground nutmeg, but I don't have any. I usually don't have it on hand until uh, Thanksgiving when I'm making pumpkin pies. We're going to do a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. We have our one cup of flour. And we have one and three quarters of a cup of oats. So we're going to put our oats in and let's go ahead and get this mixed up. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and deal with our apple. So we're just going to cut basically the cheeks off of the apple so that we don't get any of the core. We'll toss the core. We're gonna leave our peel on because I don't have a problem with the peel. Doesn't bother me. Um, lots of nutrients in that, so we're gonna go ahead and save it. So let's go ahead and chop it. I just put this apple in here. Let's go ahead and scoop that off into our mixing bowl. These are already smelling amazing. It's gonna give it a quick little mix just like that and those cookies are ready to go. But there's our beautiful dough. Let's go scoop some cookies. We've got our oven preheated to 350. We're just gonna get in here with our cookie scoop. We're using the small scoop that I've got. We're just gonna flatten them just a little bit. I'm trying not to make cookies that are too big. My husband has a hard time if I put huge cookies in his lunch, because by the time he eats everything else in his lunch, he doesn't have room for big ginormous cookies. So we're just gonna do some little ones, making sure that we're getting some of our apple in all of our cookies. I think we're gonna be able to do about four across and probably three down. get these 
in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. All right, friends, here is our beautiful oatmeal cookies. Are these not cute? So they're not super big, which is perfect. That's what I wanted. I wanted something kind of small. Oh, they smell so good. I'm telling you, there is nothing better than walking into a house and smelling an oatmeal cookie in the oven. They are perfect. These have little bits of apple, you can see right here. These are gonna be super tasty. We're gonna try one. So perfect, mm. so good. All right, these are amazing. We're gonna get these on a cooling rack. We're gonna finish making the rest of these, but we're gonna let you guys go. I'll post this recipe for you guys in the comments or in the description box for you. So you guys can try this one for yourself. But I'm so excited that you guys joined me today. So we made a delicious friend little cookie today. I hope you guys will come back and join me for another video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell up there for you so you don't forget or you don't miss anything. And most of all, give this video a thumbs up because these cookies are the best. I hope to see you guys again in my kitchen. It means so much to me that you guys would take time out of your day to come and see what I'm doing in my kitchen and spend time with me. We get to make a delicious little cookie together. And I hope you guys will come back. Have a great day, friends, and God bless.